So the study was looking at the question of whether early life vitamin D exposure affects allergy outcomes in kids. I'm Dr. Supinda Bunyavanich. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Pediatrics in the Division of Allergy and Immunology, and I'm also in the Department of Genetics and Genomic Sciences. We followed 1,248 mother-child pairs. Um, we tracked vitamin D exposure in moms um, via dietary inventory when they were pregnant, um, and we also measured vitamin D levels in the blood of moms while they were pregnant, in children right when they were born, and then also in children when they were at school age. Vitamin D from food sources uh, reduce the risk of allergic rhinitis or hay fever in children at school age. This was not true for supplemental vitamin D intake, however. The foods that are rich in vitamin D include fatty fish, cereals, dairy products, eggs, and mushrooms. My advice to moms is that they can have a role in shaping uh, their child's trajectory. Um, our study shows that inclusion of foods that are rich in vitamin D could be beneficial for allergy outcomes in kids. So they should think about including these vitamin D rich foods in their diets during pregnancy.